Hey guys, what's up? Um, we were scuba diving yesterday. We saw like an abandoned fishing net. It's like a wire cage, like a crab net. Fish swim in and they can't get out. And there were a couple of fish in there stuck. Huge fish too. Like I think they're two big puffer fish. These like big fishing crates get blown away and they lose them and then they just end up on a reef like this. The thing is, it's like it's super cruel because they get in there and they're stuck and then they just bloody starve to death. So we'll go there and we'll, we'll cut them out. So grab my new dive tank, eh? Here you go, sexy legs. Yeah, so we're gonna dive down now and go see if we can cut this cage open. It's amazing how many uh, abandoned fishing nets we find around the place. So when you do see them, it's pretty obvious when they've been abandoned. But there's like heaps of them, and we see like we see them. will cut people cut holes in them all the time. Yeah, this it's one pretty there, common. Yeah. This one hasn't been cut yet though. So let's do it. done for the day Brittany we saved the fish saved a few oh, fishes good. actually but the main one was that massive puffer fish the, the poor two, thing there was, two big puffer there was two big ones but that other that one big one been there for a while hey it had a, all its mouth was ripped up and its eyes were all wide and descaled hey poor little thing it was sad but yeah um there was a few more fish in in that we cut three holes in that thing so if it rolls over there's other ways for the fish to get out now hey and the other week we used this bad boy for cleaning the bottom of the boat. We got heaps of DMs on Instagram and a few emails about it. It's a two litre dive bottle by a company called Smako. It's just super handy to have. We've had so many uses for it already. I do recommend getting the compressor. We've got the 12 volt compressor as well. So we don't need an inverter to run this thing. It uses up about 20 amps. Takes about 45 minutes to pump this bad boy up, which lasts about 25 minutes. And uh, you'll see in our future videos, all the different uses we had for it. So yeah, highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description for you guys because yeah, we had a lot of people ask about it. All right, so we're gonna head over to Fort de France, which is the main city here in Martinique. Oh, uh, we head there. Brittany's actually flying home for a week to Canada. See her grandpa, it's his birthday, is that right? And your family and stuff. Um, and my best friend's had a baby and it's his first birthday and I haven't even met him. Yeah, yeah. So it's good, her mum's actually flying her back, which is pretty, Pretty awesome, thanks Sheila. <laughs> just for all you Aussies out there, her mom's name actually is Sheila, I'm not just calling her Sheila. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna hang tight, do a bit of fishing and just a bit of boy time, hey Brittany? It's gonna be epic. You're basically gonna spend a week starving to death. Whatever, you know what? This counter will stay like this the whole time, Brittany. That's because you won't eat anything. Yeah, yeah, it'll be two minute noodles, a bit of rice and chocolate, yeah. bags of chips. <laughs> Pretty accurate. And a bunch of beer. All right, so uh, we just went to Fort de France, stopped and dropped anchor overnight there. Got up this morning, did a big grocery shop because <laughs> Brittany loves me. Whoa, it is super windy. We just pulled out of there and right, right next to us in the commercial harbor, there's this massive, massive, massive cargo ship coming out as well. It probably looks super tiny from camera, but that thing is huge. And we're pulling out at the same time. I was just gonna quickly cut across the channel here, like the little opening. Now I gotta use the proper markers and I have to go out wide and let him have right away, obviously. So anyway, 
We're gonna head over. There's an anchorage right out front of the airport. And it's only like a 15 minute walk for Brittany to walk to the airport. So we're gonna head to that anchorage there, drop Brittany off and say goodbye. And it's a scary sight, eh? <laughs> I'm hoping he's gonna turn out of this harbor and not just go straight ahead. <laughs> All right, sexy legs. <laughs> Brittany's flying out. It's a 20 minute walk. We gotta go. You're gonna miss your flight. Hurry up. So I'll drop her off. There's a little boat yard just over there. So she'll just walk up along the runway and that's it, eh? Yep. Looks like it'll probably take about 20 minutes. She flies out in two hours and check out closes in one hour. Yes, yeah, so let's go. So you better get moving. Hi, All right. You. And then it's just gonna be me and Jackson, eh, mate? Mm. All right, guys. So it's just me and Jackson solo sailing for two weeks. Brittany's literally got an hour to check into a flight, so it was a little bit of a rush. We were like, oh shit, <laughs> you better go, Brittany. We raced her over to this like boat yard to drop her off to the airport, and I left the camera on the boat, but it was literally something out of the movies. Hey, like this boat yard is just so run down, decrepit. I almost ripped the dinghy on like six pieces of rusted galvanized iron <laughs> sheets in the water as I pulled in there. What are we gonna do, mate? Hey, just the boys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell to see what the boys get up to. This next week's gonna be awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, Brittany, I do miss you already, but this is exciting times for me and Jackson. No girls allowed, eh, mate? Alright buddy, there she goes. <laughs> hey mate. I just stayed here to watch the plane fly off. I didn't record it because it's like in the camera it's just a small dot in the sky as she flies off into the clouds. But uh, I thought it'd be cool when she flies off she can look back and see Sunday sitting here with me and Jack's on the bow. But to be honest with you, I don't think she'd even see us. But anyway, she's up, she's in the air, the plane's disappeared. What do you want to do buddy? Do you want a better anchorage? I'm gonna go find a really cool anchorage for Jackson. Actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna go find an anchorage near a pizza shop. Hey, mate, we have pizza tonight. You can eat junk food with dad. <laughs> All right. We're, oh shit. I thought I had autopilot on. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Start turning and about the job. We went around to the anchorage uh, where Decathlon was because I want to buy Brittany some new fins while she's away because uh, hers are all ripped at the bottom and the heels are broken. It's crazy. So I thought I'd surprise her and buy her some new fins. But the anchorage at Decathlon is horrible, full of mangroves. It's probably full of mosquitoes at night. So we're going to go back to Fort de France and we'll just catch a bus there. Oh man, I feel so, so sick. Brittany's only been gone for like three hours and um, oh, about the jibe. Come on, stay with me. I don't want to have to, I'm going to have to jibe and I'll sit down and tell you guys in a sec, hold on a sec. All uh, right, as I was getting further out of the bay, the wind was shifting, which I knew would happen, but I thought if I grabbed the camera quick enough, I might be able to quickly, ah, oh, come on, mate. Man, this solo sailing sucks. It's hard work, huh? You gotta do everything yourself. Then I've literally had like a bag of chips. All right, buddy. One for you, one for me. Oh, sorry, dropped it. Yeah. One for you, one for me, one for you. See, this is gonna be fun, hey, mate? Hope you know this is dinner, right? Eh? Just putting that one out there. Some chocolate biscuits. Some Oreos. Good boy, buddy. Yeah. Some chocolate. Half a liter of Coke. Two glasses of orange juice. I'm feeling like either like super sugared up, like over sugared, or I've just had too much chocolate or junk food. Oh man. 
Whew. I reckon it's time to go back to Fort de France and get myself some KFC for dinner. That's it, that'll make me feel better. <laughs> baggage issues in the airports here in Canada and across the world but this is crazy that's all unclaimed bags Look at that. thankfully I've got mine <laughs> welcome to Montreal is a ghost town in here but it's also 4 a.m. <laughs> It's been pretty easy so far. I walked my ass from where Ryan dropped me off, which was a hectic walk through the friggin' rainforest and swamplands. I thought I was gonna get eaten by a crocodile. We probably should have given ourselves a little bit more time if I was gonna do that walk because that was a long walk and I was cutting it close. Especially since a lot of people are saying you're supposed to come to the airports extra early right now, but it worked out all right. But I was a sweaty mess by the time I got to the airport. <laughs> In Martinique. Got here late last night into Montreal. Found a comfy little spot somewhere and went straight to sleep. And I just woke up and now I'm just waiting for my next flight to Vancouver. I'll catch up with you guys soon. I'm waiting for Tim Hortons to open. As any good Canadian knows, upon arrival in Canada, there's a mandatory pilgrimage to the closest Tim Hortons. So that's what we're doing now. And funnily enough, about a hundred other people waiting as well. Us Canadians are so friggin' predictable. Thank you. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, come on, settle down, mate. We just went for a walk. You know what? I thought I would have this like epic kind of, this epic plan of like being on the boat, spear fishing, barbecuing, just like, just the boys, me and Jackson hanging out on the beach. Anyway, Brittany left and it's like, the next day I kicked a rock on the beach and broke my toe. <laughs> it's a little better now. <laughs> mm. That's nasty. All the swelling's gone down, but like, my goal was like just spear fish and eat and like not spend any money for two weeks while Brittany's gone and uh, pretty much like chow down all the noodles and rice. <laughs> we do have a lot of chicken, but you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make stuff with the chicken. So I'm just gonna have to force my fins on, jump in the water and, and, and get some fish. So I can smash the barbecue because I, I didn't really plan on this. I went out and bought like two bags of charcoal. So like I could just like barbecue every night. It is sad day today. So there's a few boats around, but Pretty much just been here all by myself, and uh, it's been amazing. There's a little beach around here. So there's two. There's people on it now. See my own little private beach over there, but this is actually the first time I've seen people on that beach. There's a little island on the other side, which is like a nature reserve. Yeah, this morning on that little island, there was like a coast guard boat and what looked to be a fishing boat. I was there for about three hours, so I think he pinged him for fishing. And uh, then it looked like the Coast Guard guys jumped on the other boat and they both went back to port together. So, I don't know, someone's probably in trouble there. Um, but I think I might just whip up and pull up the anchor and just whip around the corner here. 
there's a real beautiful bay that I know of and we've actually been there before and uh, we didn't have spear guns back then and all our friends were catching squid and fish and it was a beautiful little spot so I'm thinking I might go down there to start my little spear fishing adventure. Hey mate! Hey buddy, there's a beach there for you too mate. Alright, let's do it. Just leave that down for a minute and clean all that mud off the end of the anchor. That's like one bad thing about having a good anchor is that it always comes up like it's been sitting there for a few days trying to dig its way down to China. So there we go, that would have got the mud off it. This is our new home for a, a few nights, I reckon. Alright, got my iced water with lime, laptop, got the internet. Do I have internet? Alright, I hope I got internet, otherwise I'm going back. Alright, get to work. Cheers, guys. So we'll get out of there and save these fish. Thanks to Smako. <laughs> Let's go, sexy legs. <laughs> oh. Don't waste it. Oh, I gotta turn it on. Can you turn it off for me? All right, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.